bless others with your blessings. And don't be too proud to do something that you used to do. If God blesses you, be a good steward of that blessing and hook other people up with the blessing. Your teacher, your master is washing your feet. It's almost like don't get all high and mighty to when you get into a better position in your life. You forgot where you came from. And don't be too good to do things like that, even though you're not doing it currently. And yes, you were doing that in the past, but follow my lead, follow my example. Don't get too high minded about it. That spoke to me because I used to dump garbage for a living as a sanitation worker. I told myself I'm never doing that again. I'm not dumping no garbage. But I always find myself helping people take their garbage out still. And this scripture spoke to me because it reminded me of that. Granted, I don't do that anymore. I left it for a reason. But when the situation calls for it, I'm still willing to do that for people. I'm not too high and mighty to take out the trash anymore. I could just have somebody take it out for me. I could make you do it yourself, but I still do that. So that's what I took from this. And even though the teacher is washing the feet of his servant, he's still the teacher. His power and rank is not diminished from the act that he is doing either. He has a solid foundation within himself.